Okay. There's your numbers to write down. Give you about a minute to get those written down. And the first number is, there we go, 15 C. Is, there we go, 15 C. Order the following from least to greatest and make sure you write your answer out totally. You have one minute. Some people walk and get tally marks from everybody. Sixes, three sevens, and no eights. Alex, what'd you get? Eighty-one. Eighty-one. I got seventy-five. Eighty-nine. 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 You can't read your calculator, Alex. <laughs> All right, eighty-nine. There's your proportion. Go ahead and figure out your percent. I got it. Okay, hang on. Can I add up those numbers? So which question did we miss the most? 39. 39. 39. To get us to 100. So you can just, just put your dot at 100 because that's, we can't have more than 100% of the errors. And that is what a Pareto chart looks like. And it's one way for you to think about, would this be fun for you to do as seventh graders? Maybe not, maybe not the beginning of seventh grade, but as you get better and better, maybe it's something to do, uh, to learn how the Pareto chart works. And, and you, with your calculator, you, you just zip that out in no time at all. Oh, now what? Now multiply across. Two times two? Four. One times three? Three. Okay, and this cancels out. X is less than or equal to... Hey, Mrs. Sooner's class, we got... 